Okay, what we have here are our plates that we're going to use to create a hydrogen fuel cell. It's about two inches wide, two and a half inches tall, about three sixteenths of an inch space in between them. Got two leads coming out of the top sealed off with a uh, hot glue, a little uh, rubber grommet from an oxygen airline, that's what I'm using for the outlet, I even went and put some hot glue on the inside to make sure we got a, a good, good seal, made a little uh, plug for our power supply plugs, plugs in. Okay. Okay. The rest of it's uh, pretty average things. Uh, regular water. Some table salt. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of table salt. Give it a few shakes. It doesn't have to be a lot, but it has to be enough. Let's go a little bit in the bottom there. And, uh, fill it almost to the top. You don't want it all the way to the top because it will bubble out through your tube. You don't want that. that down like that. You can use any kind of jar. I'm using mason jar, so it's got this extra ring here, the actual with the threads on it to make the seal. Okay. Now I'm using a 15-volt uh, direct current power supply. Uh, a little more voltage. You've got to uh, space these out a little more, the, the plates. Less vo voltage, pull them closer together. Um, now we're going to connect this. It's a little apparatus I made. It's a CO2 cartridge, rubber grommet, little glass tube. Uh, glass tube is only there so you can actually hopefully see the flame. A little stand. I've got water inside of this filled about halfway and that creates a valve so in, in the event that the flame would happen to go through the tube it can't get to this. And if flames get to this, then uh, don't know what happened, don't want to know what would happen. But that's why we put the water. It is like a check valve. Okay, that's, that's how it sits. Move it further away. I don't have a wide camera angle, so it's a little closer. Now, to connect our power supply here. Try to get a close up of the what happens to it. As soon as I plug it in, I should see some, some fizzing come off of one plate. Usually the negative, that's what it's supposed to it's supposed to come off the negative. Only one of them maybe sometimes a little bit and you'll notice if you're not using a pure stainless steel that it will turn green and gel up that happens because of the hydrogen coming away from the oxygen what this is actually doing is, is oxidizing the plate and that's, that's where you get the hydrogen gas from the absence 
of oxygen in, in the water. And we can already see that it's starting to, to bubble down there. You can see the water moving into the bottom of the tube, showing that it is forcing hydrogen gas. And we're going to get a, a good look at the uh, glass tube here. This takes takes about a minute, minute and a half, maybe two minutes for the initial hydrogen gas to prime up through the tube, push all the ambient air that was in, in the system before you started. And then you can see it's already starting to turn greenish, gray, yuck. But that's, so far as I know, it's normal. But the uh, poor quality steel that you use, the more you're going to get. Let that go for just a couple minutes while I find a lighter. I'm actually going to turn the light off for this visible. And there it is. Hydrogen gas. Yeah. Show me the shit up. What do you what are you doing? Recording. That's how you do that. Kind of like making a gun out of the fancy, I mean, out of the tater.